Annyeonghaseyo Yarabun, how are you reviews of Mida? Hey y'all, I'm Shamra and this is my girl Sabrina and we are How Are You Reviews? And we are here with you today to react to Blackpink's Boom Bye Y'all. Yes, it came as a request from a viewer and we did some research and Boom Bye Ya and Whistle were the debut singles, I guess. They were released together so at the same time. So we'll do Boom Bye Ya this week because I just feel like Boom Bye Ya. And then we can do Whistle next weekend, I think. Um, yeah. But this is, we have birth, we have birth. Oh boy, <laughs> the, the night is already starting. It's too early, girl. <laughs> we have both heard the song. I, don't know if I've seen the video. I don't know if I've seen the video. I probably have, but I can't, it's been a while, so I, it, it'll be new to me, I guess. Um, both big Blackpink fans, so yes, definitely. We do, we do love them. Definitely some of our favorites. So let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm excited to hear it again. Oh, yeah, I've totally seen the video. Blackpink in your area. So I, I know that it's like a K-pop thing to change your hair color, but not everyone can pull off like every single color. She can. I really oh, yeah, think she can pull can. off super dark, super light, various colors of the rainbow. She looks amazing no matter what. So she does look amazing no matter what. I think. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, for the 90s babies, I love that line. <laughs> This is impressive, really, really impressive. Okay, so I have to ask you, because I know it's true for my house, when this song was first introduced to your family, did you have like Boombaya dancing competitions in your living room? I don't know if we had dancing competitions. My daughter pretty much just runs the dance in our house, so I know she was crazy for it, definitely. 
And I want to point out the, um, the opa, like that is, it was something I knew nothing about prior to getting into like K-dramas and all that stuff. And the impact that that has on like Korean culture, like how important it is to be able to call someone an opa, whether you're a girl, you know, whether you're a girl using the term or a boy being called that term, like it's very, very sweet. I'm, I dig it. I really like it. Well, I don't think we have a, an equivalent really here in like English. Mm. I mean, I know it means like really. like older brother like figure, and it can be yeah. just like a biological brother, or it can be a boyfriend. And I always wonder, like, how do you know, like, when it's being used? It's a very flirtatious word, so I love that they're like, oh, that's <laughs> true. Very cool. Uh, oh. Like I said, they yeah. always look like they're having so much fun. They just look like they are so happy to yeah. just, I don't know. Yeah. I know when I saw the, I forget what it's called, but it's a documentary that came out sometime within the last like year, like during the COVID pandemic and everything, um, or right after on Black Pink. I, I know that like Rosie in particular can be a little bit more like calm and likes those moments to like write music by herself and just mm -hmm. be sort of like the opposite of what we just saw. But I know that she can also have a lot of energy with like the other girls, like they bring that out in her. And when you see them in concert, they really seem like that. Like they, they bring that out in each other. Well, that's the fun thing is you know that they, they each bring something to the table and mm -hmm. even in their videos, they each kind of still have their own personality. And that's what I love about yeah. the black pink videos is you can still very clearly identify their own personality mm -hmm. their own traits. And one of the things that we've come to realize with twice as well is even though mm. there's so many girls, it's, yeah, it's a much larger group. It's a much larger group, but they still try to make sure that they're each kind of yeah. individualized. But I will say that's an advantage to having the smaller group, which is like yes. the four voices because it is easier to identify them physically, their voices as well. Um, so, I mean, harmonies are typically four-part harmonies, so that's you get a chance to hear all of them singing. I know together. with Blackpink, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's mainly two vocalists, two rappers. The rappers mm -hmm. can obviously still sing, um, but I think it's primarily the two. So maybe that's why they went to larger groups later. Oh, actually, Twice is... Are they the same time as Blackpink or just before Blackpink? I think they're the same time. Yeah, I think it's like 2016-ish, so it's interesting. I wonder why Blackpink is four then and Twice is like nine. I wonder... Very cool. interesting. If you know, no, let, let us, us know. know. <laughs> Make sure you like because and subscribe. <laughs> we're all learning. We're all new in this journey. And so any advice or any information you have is helpful to us. We've learned a whole lot from our subscribers. And we, we absolutely really love that. We really we have. have. And we love all the direction that you guys are giving us down in the comments, um, especially if it's a new group that we haven't looked at yet. That's I really enjoy those. Um, or maybe a group that we haven't really done much of and we don't really know much about. Um, yeah, we're doing um, XO today, which we haven't done yet. Yeah, we're doing a couple we're we excited. haven't done today. So that's really exciting. Um, and But you know what? Keep the, the Big Bang and the BTS and all that coming as well because there's nothing wrong with reacting to something that's popular. I mean, that's kind of how most people get into K-pop, I think, is you hear someone that you just connect with and... And then it's that, we always talk about that rabbit hole, you go down that rabbit hole and suddenly there's no coming out. <laughs> so let us know what you like down in the description. Uh, not in the description, oh boy. In the comments down below. And she made an error with spe that. <laughs> speaking of description, if you like K-dramas, then Hallie Reviews on the website, we do reactions, reviews, whether you should watch, must watch or skip the K-dramas that we've taken a look at. And that link will be in the description down below. But until then, I'm young. young.